Robin Talbert. Over the next hour, we'll provide detailed local, regional, and national forecasts. We'll also have environmental and weather news. But first, a few words on the status of crops in Western Canada. A good yield in crops across the prairie provinces depends highly on precipitation received during the growing season. Usually, if a region gets near or above 60% of normal rainfall, the risk of poor crop yield is lowered. The region shown on this map in yellow received from 50 to 100% of normal rainfall during the period from April 1st through to August 9th. These regions, colored green, received near or above the normal amounts of precipitation. Only this region in southwestern Alberta received well above the normal precipitation during the period. Stay with us. Coming up is a detailed forecast for your region. We'll also provide you with air quality and pollen readings for major centers across the country. Right here on Canada's Weather Network, we'll also have long-range and national forecast for you. Stay with us. On the Weather Network, these are the latest observed conditions in your region. Over the next two minutes, we'll also present your detailed local forecast. This is the Weather Network's Air Quality Report. The data is updated throughout the day with information provided by the Provincial Air Quality Monitoring Office. The first line indicates the site of the specific monitoring station, along with the air quality analysis. The second line for each site lists the major pollutant, then the actual index. This air quality report for major cities across the prairies is an environmental service of the Weather Network. Stay tuned. Next, you'll find weather conditions reported in major Canadian cities over the past hour. Then, we'll have a detailed analysis of major weather systems affecting the country. This report on